and this village is full of amazing little uh, and interesting history. I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm going to cut off there. Okay guys, I'm gonna try in here, but the light is really dark. We're inside a traditional Bulgarian house. Um, this one is quite big because it used to be uh, one of like a debt collector years ago. Um, up until even after the Second World War, the family would sleep on the floor, no beds whatsoever. Um, you would have the mum and the dad the boys the side of the dads and the girls the side of the mothers also the men the boys and the dad would be closest to the window for obvious reasons for protection and for cold so the girls would get the warmer side of the house and the boys would face the colder side by the windows but it's just to give you all of you a real feel of a traditional Bulgarian house in a village. And <gasps> just look, oh my What's goodness. A bat? There's a bat in there. Did you see that? There's a bat. Look how small. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's get in and have a look. Here he is. Hopefully, you can pick that up on there. There's a baby bat. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Wow. Awesome. So, that was the top of the house. Here's the garden. Wow. Look at those windows. <laughs> Excellent. So we're going to take a little walk inside the underneath now. So the main living quarters were up above and they've turned this bottom bit into a bit of a museum. Don't know whether you're going to see very much because it is quite dark. Okay, so we're still inside the house. It is very, very dark. Um, I hope it does pick it up, but I'm really sorry if it doesn't. As you can see, there's an old loom. And this is at the side of the bit of the house that we showed you earlier. Um, it is, yeah, they've turned it into a sort of a museum. Look at all these gorgeous rugs. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's really deceiving from the outside. It doesn't look that big, but on the inside it really is something else yeah it's a nice little museum isn't it and an old sewing machine we've got those in britain i think i think my mother still uses one of them <laughs> look at those and the dress wear as well i do love them jackets i would wear i would wear one of them jackets i would i would so i'll tell you it's true and we're back outside now just let this car go past surprisingly for a small village and for the narrow roads there are a fair few cars around it must be said it must be said <laughs> what is this guy doing So here we are, we're at the top of the Blue Mountains. We're just about to get the lift all the way down. That should be really good fun. We're 1,000 meters above sea level. In the background there, you can see, that's the second largest city, that's Slevin. And it's all also known as the town of broken winds, of unbreakable winds, should I say, the town of unbreakable winds due to it being next to the mountains um you would it's quite industrialized you would see normally if it was in a normal area you would see a lot of smog it is a little bit cloudy down there today a little bit on the misty side but because of the winds coming down the mountains um and that's what helps clear clear the the smog and the things like that so um 
yeah it's pretty beautiful um but to get to the top of the mountain it's 20 kilometers all the way around so a fair old journey getting to the top and just behind me i don't know whether you can see that they've got a tv aerial station now off the top of there they get the paragliders only the professionals though but there's tons of places around this area for hikers for amateur climbers for the more advanced climbers so it's a place for everybody or if you just want to come for a should i say gentle stroll <laughs> maybe maybe well let's make our way over to the lift and um We'll show you some views from up there as well. Wow, okay guys, we're just about to go onto the lift, but I just wanted to show you a little bit. It's very windy. What I might do is take the sound out. I think maybe you can hear me, but you'll understand why it's so windy. If you just have a look behind me, I'm just gonna turn around. And if you can see how stunning this area really is, wow just look at that isn't that amazing isn't that just something else simply beautiful wow unbelievable i'm gonna see if i can climb a little bit higher let's let's go let's go let's see if we can get that a little bit higher up the mountain before we go back down to the lift and make our way down to slevin Gotta watch my feet as I go here. Just gonna get up here as quick as I can. Up to the top. Oh, you can see the scenery behind me there. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'm gonna climb up a bit more. Here we go. Nearly at the top. It's unbelievable. Wow. Thank you for sharing the last part of this journey. Whoa. At the summit. And what we'll do, we'll have a quick pan round while I get my breath back. Goodness me, too much lunch, too much lunch. There we go. How amazing is that view? simply beautiful there you go wow see for miles and miles and of course miles okay they're waiting for us a little bit further down so i'm gonna make my way back down to the lift because it's got quite windy as you can see just because we're on the top that's all unbelievable gotta watch my footing <laughs> as i go so please forgive me if i'm not looking at you guys but thank you so much for coming along with me to the top of the blue mountains whoa yes 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 oh dear we're still there we're still recording i think my battery's gonna die i'm not sure i just hope it doesn't die before i get to the lift and uh, we'll get you back down to the bottom but don't worry if i have to change the battery then the part with the lift will be on the next video Woo! there we go and we're down to the lift Woo! wasn't that amazing ah yes oh dear i've got to find a different word because amazing is the one that i use all the time i'm so glad that i could share that with you guys ah it was definitely worth that last little climb to get that view with you and i'll see you on the lift okay guys we're just about to go on to the chairlift all the way from the top of the mountain down to the city of Slevin hey, hey and we're off okay guys I'm just gonna turn you around so you can see where we're going there we are look at that view isn't it totally awesome 
Wow, what a view. Marvellous. There's the television tower that I was telling you about and the paragliders go from off the top of the mountain, fly over the top of the city. Plenty of places for hiking and walking and for professional climbers and amateur climbers. Reminds me of skiing. But isn't it beautiful? What do you think, Sarah? It's great. See, Absolutely it's great. great. Yeah, wonderful view. Yep. You were scared Absolutely. at first, weren't you? But yes, you're all right now. Scared. I'm all right now. Nothing to be afraid of. It's the getting on. It's the getting on. It's the getting on. The break Absolutely. Down. There we go. Top up your tan while you're going down the side of a mountain. Why not? And just look at that view. Beautiful. The beauty of Bulgaria. This is travel tour taste on tour and tasting in Bulgaria. This is very pleasant indeed. Nice. And Bulgaria isn't that far from the UK. So if you're watching and you're in the UK, it's only a three, three and a half hour flight. Um, and you're there already. It's great. All this beauty on your doorstep. If you've never been to Bulgaria, it is surprising. It does, it does just take your breath away. You never know what you're going to see next. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. What more can I say? Apart from hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up. And um, any comments you got, please, please leave them in the comments below. And um, me and Sal will get back to you. That's why we do it. We love the interaction. We would love for you to comment and uh, maybe chuck a few questions our way. And if we can answer them, then we will do our utmost best to do so just for you. So um, if you're joining us for the first time, I'm Glenn, this is Sarah, and we are Travel, Travel Tour, Tour Taste. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. In the previous video, we were in a slingshot and um, we watched it this morning and my face and Sarah's face but both for different reasons Sarah looks like she's having the time of her life and I'm looking like my life is about to end <laughs> so um, make sure you check that one out it's the one with the slingshot um, you won't be able to miss it you won't be able to miss it and uh, we'll probably put a link or uh, a card at the end of this video as well for the previous one obviously so thanks once again for joining us in the village up the mountain down the mountain and whatever adventure is coming up next we just don't know from one minute to the next pretty awesome pretty awesome and i hope everybody wherever you are are having a great great day God bless you all. Travel, talk, take.